Well, Spotify and the star of its number one podcast are speaking out regarding the controversy over COVID-19 misinformation on the platform. Last week, rock legend Neil Young asked Spotify to remove his music because of what was said on episodes of the Joe Rogan Experience. Laura Podesta is in New York with steps both Spotify and Rogan plan to take. I don't always get it right. Podcaster Joe Rogan says he agrees with Spotify's decision to add content advisories before any podcast that discusses COVID-19 and vaccines. I'm not trying to promote misinformation. I'm not trying to be controversial. The advisories come after rock legend Neil Young asked the platform to remove his music when Spotify declined to get rid of episodes of the Joe Rogan experience, which have been criticized for spreading virus misinformation. Artists including Joni Mitchell and Nils Lofgren followed suit. It's not about any censorship. We're all for free speech. We just don't want to be associated with um, misinformation and lies that are killing Americans. The musicians took a stand after public health experts called out Spotify for allowing Rogan to spread what they called false and harmful assertions, particularly in conversations with two controversial doctors. They have an opinion that's different from the mainstream narrative. I wanted to hear what their opinion is. Spotify CEO said in a blog post it has a critical role to play in supporting creator expression while balancing it with the safety of Spotify's users. Rogan thanked the company for its support and said he's open to making changes. If there's anything that I've done that I could do better is uh, have more experts with differing opinions right after I have the controversial ones. He uh, adds I he isn't closer. mad at Neil Young and is still a huge fan.